Hey guys, good morning. We're on a walk this morning. That's my tomato plants. My cuttings are doing well. Now these seedlings, they're actually coming up. So they must be very strong seeds. Because actually, I only planted those a couple of days ago. So wow, look at them now, shooting. And that's a couple of days ago when I planted them. Right, we're going to have a walk out there. Because... There's an house out there, well not exactly an house, actually looks like the guys have got more sugar cane shoots. So, let me just show you, I mean these are still doing very very good, bitter fruit, that's our bitter fruit. You know, three, we've got three plants in, but wow they're still producing a lot, a lot, a lot, a, a lot of bitter fruit. So the bitter fruit, they're still doing well and they're still flowering. Right, I'll actually reverse the camera in a moment, but that's where we're going to walk out there. Hopefully there's no dogs, but you know, it is what it is. So that's what I'm going to do now, guys. But like I said, looks like the guys have been and bought more sugar cane shoots, you know, and we do. That sugar cane needs some water, so I'll have a little walk this way. And then I'll actually reverse the camera. Right, good morning guys. It's early. I think it's past six. And, you know, I've just took a chicken off the fence. Or it was actually wrapped round the fence. Now, I saw the dog here this morning. She was barking at something. And I know there's a snake that's always here. And snakes like to warm up early in the morning in the sun. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to just walk this way. In fact, I'll actually, I'll actually walk this way. Actually, no, I won't. I've got to avoid that caravan because there's two big caravans out there. So live yesterday, Friday night, Saturday morning. Now, guys, I'm sorry about the connection. And you know, actually, this I actually got some disgusting little nasty men on the. Uh, you know, making some comments. So, you know, I am actually learning. And I wouldn't listen to any of you guys that gave advice. You know, the comments and the advice you give. Really bad, co really bad comments and absolutely, you know, nasty little advice. You know, let me just turn this thing around. Right, I turn this hat around. So, I wouldn't listen to you a lot anyway. You know, I won't listen to you, not one little bit, because your advice is absolutely rubbish, and your comments are absolutely rubbish. That aside, sorry Lee, you know, like I said, sorry about the connection. So live, what I'm going to actually, I got actually one comment, what about sugar cane? Yes, you can grow sugar cane here, and... You know, you have to you have to rent the land, but you can definitely grow sugar cane here. So I got a, I, I actually did get a good comment, and you know, like I said, so what I'm actually going to do, guys, is I'm actually not going to bother. I'm going to just walk to these mangoes. I'm actually not going to bother at this time and moment, you know, doing live because. As one of my subscribers' friend said to me, you know, because I keep losing connection, it's not very good. Till I get a better internet, you know, I probably won't, I probably won't bother. But, you know, I sussed, I sussed it out and I got a comment off a friend, nice comment off a friend there on, there on, uh, Right, music's playing, so I, I got, I actually got a good comment, and the comment said, you know, there were four or five people actually joining, and, and they actually all just sat there, and nobody, like, joined in the conversation, but after, you know, after the live, three or four made nasty comments, you know, you really are a waste of time, so I actually know exactly now how it works. So, I just won't waste time with it anymore, you know, bashers, haters. I won't waste time, you know, either replying. I just delete your comments because you're a waste of time, really. 
and it will be nice to get some nice people on board that make some good comments that actually contribute. Can you grow sugar cane here? Yes. You can actually rent the land. But guys, we've had no rain, so you know, it's really dangerous to invest a lot of money at this time. And a lot of these guys here, you know, in the... I'm just looking for mangoes, that's all. So a lot of these guys here, you know, the sugar cane's not doing very well. And I'll actually reverse the camera and I'll actually show you the, some of the fields that they just haven't made it because of the rain. And it is actually a real pity. So I'm actually trying to chat above the music. Six o'clock in the morning and we've got loud music playing oh, on the barangay across there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to walk out into the field here, but I'll reverse the camera and show you. So thanks for joining us on live. I'll get back to live as soon as possible. I'll get back to live. And Lee is now a channel member. And it looks really good being a channel member because your name's lit up and it looks really good. You know, so I'll show you the volcano this morning, guys. So here we are, I can hear a motorbike or a tricycle come. There's a bird actually, she keeps flying around. She looks like a road runner, don't know what she is. You know, oh, it's a tricycle look. So it looks like that guy is actually going to be going into town this morning. Right, so look, see that field there? That's a sweet, I think it's sweet corn, it's a cornfield. Just didn't make it. But I actually do think they actually did get a crop off it. But guys, you know, just jump over the fence. But guys, you know, what it was, no rain. So yeah, you can actually make good money, you know, doing sugar cane. But there's a lot of hard work in it. And that's the volcano there, look. Now, I have actually got some that I've got a fire coming out of that volcano, that's the Canlahan. And I I uploaded some small, not I uploaded some short videos of the Canlahan, and at the side of the Canlahan, there were a fire, so there were a fire coming out of it. Now, I think it's in, in my shorts, but I actually don't know if I uploaded it. But next time I see a fire coming out of there, out of the... You know, fire or smoke coming out of the Canlahan volcano. I'll actually put the short on a video. It's quite a big carabao, and I can't see this morning, guys. You know, it's just that. It's that sunny, and it's early in the morning. So I know for a fact it's going to be a really hot weekend. I'll try and chat about this music. Now, look, these guys here, that's the house back there, look. So I can't exactly see, let me just turn the video off. Then that helps me when I come to... That helps me when I actually do come to edit the video. So this sugar cane field here, we've had no rain look. And that sugar cane field there, let me see if I can take it up. Right, I don't know if I've took that up or down. Let me just look. I think I've took it up. Looks like a lot of the guys are going into Mercy early this morning. And they're either going to work or they're going to school. Yes, they go to school here on a Saturday. And there's, there's three of them and they're all loaded up. So they're probably all off to school or college. Or they're just going shopping. That's one of your carabaos there, look. If you can see it for the sun. Now look. See the sugar cane in this field. Like I said... We, it needs rain, and you know guys, if you've got no rain, that's the Canland dog, if you've got no rain, wow, you know, like I said, people are actually working hard, let me reverse the camera, right, I've got my hat on, it's that sunny, so that's it guys, you know, when you actually do plant sugar cane, you know, you do need that rain, and you know, if you, if you haven't got that rain, you're in big trouble. Now I'm going to reverse the camera in a moment because I want to show you something. Right. So I hope this carabao can't actually get to the side of this field. But 
you know, because you have to be careful with Carabao. Right, this is what I want to show you. I'll actually reverse the camera. And I don't really want to see it. I'll show you something else as well. Let me just show you this. That's where we're heading to look at this shed because it's falling down. See, they've had to water this field. So because they've had to water this field, all costs money. You know, it costs money, guys. So growing sugarcane, yeah, it's really profitable and it's really good to grow sugarcane. But, you know, like I said, if there's no rain, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> If there's no rain, or if we don't have any rain, you know, you're in trouble. So, yeah, I mean, this sugarcane, now I can see all this sugarcane here, this in the background. It's not growing like it normally does. And sugarcane grows like wildfire, but it's not growing. Now, look at this. We had a windy night last night, and this is what's happened, look. There's a blonde carabao there as well. Hello there, miss. Think it's a miss. So look, this is what's happened. I couldn't actually Jovelin could see it from the house. She says, Oh, looks like the shed's blown down. So it has look. It's blown down. So you know, with the wind last night, that's what's happened. So that's the way the guys get in and out on the motorbike. And like I said, you know, that's what's happened here, look. Looks like it's blown down. So, which is a pity really because, you know, a lot of guys here, they depend on this for shade. And if it's raining, you know, they depend on it. And it looks, look, looks like it's took a tree with it. So it looks like this banana tree, it's took this banana tree with it, look. So it's actually fallen on this banana tree. And it's hard to see actually, it's that sunny. So that's what's happened, look. Fallen on the banana tree, snap the banana tree. And that's it, look. And actually, look, you can actually see. That's a young Balong Carabao as well, can we see her? little bit hard because it's very very sunny now that's the bitter fruit farm i'm gonna have a little walk over there in a moment but look it's got bananas on as well which is a pity look that's a nice little crop of bananas or in about a month's time three weeks time a month's time that would be a really nice bunch of bananas for someone look but because this this place has actually fallen down it's probably got blown down, blown down yesterday because it got windy yesterday and it's took a banana tree, so, which is a real pity really, you know, them bananas, wow, a couple of weeks, could you not wait a couple of weeks before you fall, fall down, so that's it, look, that's what's happened, she's having a nosy, inquisitive, she's quite inquisitive, that carabao by the looks of it, so you can see, look, but that's the house over there. So it's blown down, the shed's blown down. Right, which is a pity, like I said, little bit of hard work. Egrets are over there. Now, where there's a carabao, there is always egrets. And the egrets actually follow the carabaos around. So I want to have a little walk out. I want to walk out, you know, I actually want to walk out and have a look at this bitter fruit farm. Like I said, a lovely young carabao blonde there. You can see, guys, you know, we are actually in the rice terraces. And this is actually a rice terrace. But, like I've said, all rice terraces, all the way back to the house, all the way around the side of this sugar cane field. And you can see just how dry it is. You know, like I said, it can be quite hard. Life sometimes here in the province can actually hear a chicken going crazy. But that's something else here in the province. There's always something getting killed. If it's not getting killed or eaten, there's always a problem. So this is it, look. This is the bitter fruit farm. And that's the guy's house. Now, there's normally dogs here, but, you know... 
that's the house there to the bitty fruit farm. Now, you can see there's no fruit whatsoever here, but what they've actually been doing here is fertilising the ground. Now, actually, I don't exactly know how they fertilise it, how they fertilise it here. I'm tipping they put a lot of chicken manure in. So that's it, look. A lovely bit of fruit farm. Now, it might not look like much, but when this starts to grow, guys, bit of fruit, it does look quite nice. You know, when it's got quite a lot of bit of fruit on it. You know, and it's a good, good crop. As you can see, my bit of fruit, guys, we grow bit of fruit, and it is a really good eagle. Oh, she's here, look. Wow, she's there, the eagle. Now then, let me try and blow it up. Don't know if I'm blowing this up or down. We've got the eagle here, look. She's there, look. She's going down. So she's after something there. She's hunting along, along them trees. She's there. Wow, she's out early. Looks like she's looking for something. Unless she's... Right, let me try and blow this up. That's down, that's up a little bit. So I don't know where she is now, I've lost her. Oh, she's there, look. She's there, she'll be going up. She's in them trees. Mountain oak eagle, hunting. What's she doing, look? She's really low. Now if she's really low, she's probably looking for snakes. So I'm tipping she's looking for, she's here, look, above the trees. I can't exactly see this form, guys, because it's just that sunny. But look at that beautiful mountain oak eagle. Oh, she's, see, she's swooping. She's actually swooping at these, these white birds, egrets. Look, what, she's coming across. She's there, look. She's very, very low. Oh, she's here, look, look at her. She's there, look. Absolutely beautiful, look at that, wow. That makes my day, that, you know, mountain oak eagle. She looks absolutely beautiful. Wow, look at her. She's got a white head and she's swooping at the egrets. So she's actually looking for a meal this morning. Mountain oak eagle, I haven't seen, I haven't seen her or him for quite a while, look. Absolutely lovely. We'll just keep, I'm going to keep filming her because I love I love my eagles. When I grew up, guys, as a kid, that's what I used to do. I used to be in the countryside all the time. And, you know, that's what I used to do. Bird nest, look for falcons, look for oaks. And I used to look for owls. Look at her look up there, soaring away. Absolutely wonderful. Wow, we're lucky this morning. Now, you know, I can't see her, so I'm just pointing the camera up. Can't see her because it's that sunny, but she's up there. So, let me try and just... Don't know if I've got her. She's up there somewhere. Don't know if I've got her because I can't see her actually on the phone. Now she's more or less above us. She's up there. Mountain Oak Eagle. Absolutely lovely. Wow, she's smack above me now, flying around. How ah, nice is that? She's going up on the thermals. Right, let me see if I can actually find a shady. She's up there now, guys. Mountain Oak Eagle. I hope we did actually catch her on camera. Absolutely beautiful. That's made my day. That makes me very, very happy, you know, to see a beautiful mountain oak eagle. And you know what made it nice? I don't know if I've caught her on video, but she was actually swooping and she was dropping into this field here and she was looking for something to eat. You know, maybe a frog, a snake. And she were actually swooping at the egrets. So absolutely beautiful. So we're back at the shed. So I'm going to walk back now. You know. But I'm going to catch you the Canlan volcano. When she's actually erupting at the side. 
Next time I see a smoker fire, I'll actually do a short video. Where is she gone? She's gone now, can't see for the sun. But, you know, like I said, absolutely lovely. Mountain Oak Eagle. And as you know, there's also a Filipino Eagle. Right, so there's a Filipino Eagle. And the Filipino Eagle, you know, quite frisky. So the Filipino Eagle, stop there, don't. She's having a look. She's having a look in the sniff. And that's the blonde one. So the Filipino eagle, you know, pride of the Philippines. Absolutely beautiful eagle. Pride of the Philippines. And that is something I actually want to see. Right, guys, how nice is that? Mountain oak eagle. But like I said, while I'm in the Philippines, one thing I want to see... Uh, is the mountain, not the mountain oak eagle. You know, I do see quite a lot of mountain oak eagles here in Concilian. What I want to see is the Filipino eagle. And, you know, wow, that would be absolutely beautiful just to see a Filipino eagle. And it's an endangered eagle here in the Philippines. She's one of the biggest eagles in the world. And like I said, she's endangered. You know, wow. She's a monkey-eating eagle, but she actually eats anything. If it's got fur or feather, she'll actually, if she can catch it, she'll kill it and eat it. Wow. Now, this, I don't know what that is. don't know if that's that eagle. Right. I'll actually reverse the camera. Right, guys. So... I put my hat back on because it's absolutely blistering this morning and that's the only trouble with this hat, it gets tangled, right, so like I said how nice for that mountain oak eagle, that's the house, I'm actually going to walk across here, <laughs> this is where she was, she's actually dropping and swooping near an egret, so that was lovely for me to see, absolutely lovely. Right, guys, don't forget, I'll actually let you know when I'm going live. I'm just going to have a look, see if any mangoes have fall off the tree. So I'll actually let you know when we're going live. So, you know, you can join us. But I think what I'll do, guys, is actually let a lot of you guys know a long time before we go live. You know, so simple as that, really. Right, we're here. We're here at the mango tree. Right, they're growing quite fast, they're mangoes now. Every day they get a little bit bigger. But you know, a lot of uh, people do actually come right, this and pick the mangoes. Right, so, it looks like this so I'm going to head off back up. to the house. Hanging from the Guys, tree. I'm actually going to head off back to the house now. But like I said, let me get in a shade disposition. I will actually let you know when I'm going live. <laughs> like I said, the lesson I learnt yesterday we're going live. Thanks for joining us, Lee. You know, the lesson I actually... And, and thanks for joining us, guys, if you weren't one of them f full, you know, nasty little men. You know what made... just They just come on your channel making silly, nasty comments. You know, really little pathetic... You know, and what I learnt last night is, you know, I need actually, I need actually some really nice, you know, subscribers, public, anyone, you know, to join. So I actually do need, you know, some good, positive people to join me live stream. So that will come. I, I do actually know that, you know. So, I will actually let some of you guys actually know a week, a couple of days before I actually do do a, like, another live stream. But, you know, I'll just carry on. And it's as simple as that, really. And hopefully I can get some of you guys, you know, to make some good comments. So, you know, simple as that, really. So, that's what I actually learnt last night, you know. Here people just sat there watching the video, you know, I didn't have a lot that joined me this time actually. But like I said, 
we're here in Consiglia and it's a lovely morning and I'm actually back to my videos we're on a Saturday, happy weekend very sunny so you know I'm actually going to the market tomorrow a famous market and I will continue to upload my videos and that's where we are that's where we are that's the rice terraces Right guys, because we haven't got an internet connection, I will actually try and upload this video very, very soon. Take care, God bless, have a wonderful day. Happy Saturday, we're off to the market tomorrow, so we're up early. So it'll be a zombie Sunday, but hopefully we do our jovelin does okay. So, right, take care. But like I said, how nice was that? Mountain Oak Eagle, absolutely beautiful. Thumbs up, please like the videos, please share the videos, send super chat, become a channel member when we actually do get back to live stream.